I'd like to talk a little bit about what holds everything up. The skeleton of the deck, the framework. This is uh, the old saying, build upon a solid foundation holds true with decks. You want to have a solid, well-built uh, foundation from the ground up. So we start with our footings, the, the, the placement of footings, the size of footings uh, are, need to be determined by what's called span charts. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, Dunn Lumber can help you if you have a design on a deck. They can help you do, to determine where your footings need to go, how many you need to have, and how they need to be installed. There are simple footings such as precast concrete pier blocks, and then there's auger cast or hand dug footings. Most professionals dig their own footings and pour concrete on site. And a professional is going to know where those footings need to be, how far apart they need to be, and how far apart the footings are then dictate the size of the girder and the, where the support posts are that hold up the beams or the girders. Then the placement of the girders drives the joist spacing. So it kind of builds upon itself uh, you starting with the bottom and working up to how far things apart can be, how far apart the support post, how far apart the support beams, and how far off the beam the joist can go to give you a good solid deck. And again, there are charts and reference guides, uh, both published at Dunlumber and online that you can get. But if you're hiring a professional, they're going to know what those answers need to be. Almost all of our frameworks are built with what's called ground contact pressure treated lumber. This lumber is guaranteed 40 years in the ground against rotten decay and insect infestation. When you're working with ground contact pressure treated lumber, however, you do need to remember when you cut a board, you need to coat the end of that board with what's called in cut solution because you've exposed the raw wood once you cut it. Pressure treated lumber, the treatment goes into the wood, not all the way, but most of the way. Appearance grade treated lumber, the treatment is pretty much just a veneer on the outside. It's gone in just slightly. The way you can tell the difference is if the wood looks like it's got little staple marks in it, that's ground contact pressure treated lumber. And that's going to stand up to more abuse than what we call appearance grade treated lumber, which is used for trellises and other outdoor structures.